So what exactly is robotics and AI? Artificial intelligence. It is like solving the intelligence. So what to do by solving the intelligence? Use it to solve everything else. It is like making the smart machines to create smarter machines. Innovate, create, produce, and disrupt. Does the idea of robotics fascinate you? Our everyday lifestyle fascinates me. Home, office, home only punctuated by Friday evening. Friday evening when all you want to do is come back home, relax in your couch and you want your steaming cup of coffee and you can't even dictate your wife for the same. All together the reality dictates you that it's a dreadful mess that awaits you. So the Friday evening first few hours go cleaning the house. Now imagine alternative scenario. Your uh, Friday is over and Friday evening your self-driving car automatically coming to pick you up from the parking lot. The door pops open, you relax in the rear seat of the car and car is on the way home. As the self-driving car actually knows the way and you are chit-chatting with your friends making the Friday evening programs, you have reached home, doors open, get down and the lights illuminate your impeccably clean house mode lights turn on now how does the lights know you are there wow that's the beauty with the with your eye movement with the retina scan the robotic lights are equipped with image recognition and computer vision they can recognize who you are there and they get to know what mood you are into friday night party mood lights on you are relaxing and chit-chatting with your friends and in the meanwhile you ask a compact yet powerful device to order food for you that is how you are going to spend your friday evening so till few years ago this could have been sounding like science fiction writers colorful pigmentation but now it is the reality that is how the world is changing it is the fourth revolution. The biggest advancement in human history happened with the first revolution, advent of steam and mechanized production started. And as of today, we are in the AI first world. So Saturday morning, you wake up, might be a little tired. Your robotic sidekick analyzing your body reflexes. The way you get up, the way you move, the way you walk, or even your exercise regime. Analyzing all your body reflexes, it is letting you know which areas in your body needs improvement or what kind of future ailments you can face. Yes, even beforehand, they can, through the predictive analysis, these technologies, these robots, they can let you know what you could face in the future. And accordingly, we can go for the preventive measures. What happens now? We fall sick, we go to the doctor, doctor prescribes us medicine, fever, sore throat, cold, cough. They write us antibiotics, seven days a week, three times a day, after every meal. And we have to remember the medicines. And imagine senior citizens, they, most of them, they have to take their medicines every day for diabetes, high BP, low BP, and certain times they forget to take medicines and it causes trouble for them. Now imagine a robotic pill going inside your body Staying there for a day, for a week, for a month, or even for a year. You never ever have to remember your medicine and you are not going to fall sick because you're going to be on a preventive measures. Now we fall sick, we go to doctor, we take medicine, that is curative measures. Body reflexes being analyzed by these your robotic sidekicks are going to put you on preventive measures. After getting your morning routine done, you want to play your game. You always aspire to be a pro golfer and but you don't even know how to hold the golf club. So now but you're very keen on playing your golf game. Again, your uh, robotic sidekick, uh, even your phone camera analyzing you can make you pro at the game. How you hold the golf club, how you twist your wrist or how you swing the ball. Each and everything taking note of that as well as taking note of the actions of your fellow golfers. 
this robot robots and the technologies can make you pro at the game and in the golf the length of the grass blade the kind of wind blowing how the fairway is turning each and everything matters and these apps can beforehand let you know each and everything and you can be the pro at the game and how you gonna maneuver around imagine yourself on e-mobility robot you're standing on the e-mobility robot and just thinking to move and maneuvering in the entire golf course there was this guy who was very very fascinated towards technology since his childhood he was very keen towards science fiction movies and he wanted to make a difference for himself and he wanted to make a difference for his fellow citizens he wanted to create something unique and what he did he brought e-mobility robots to india e-mobility robots kickbots where you stand and you think to move when you think body reflex happens in your body and these e-mobility robots can sense 200 body reflexes per second isn't that interesting 200 body reflexes per second and you just stand on them you can commute from one place to another go anywhere you want anyone regardless of their age geographies demographies their gender they can ride it and there is no running cost involved zero pollution as no gas no petrol no diesel is required so it is even taking care of your carbon footprints so you just stand on it think to move go anywhere you want to go this is the future right here now while you are maneuvering on your golf course on the e-mobility robot suddenly the sun is too bright and you need your new golf cap how you want to buy that ah easy you take out your cell phone you want to buy it online and now you know how the shopping happens online who is taking care of the logistics the global supply chain the inventories these are again the warehouse robots warehouse robots are the biggest one of the biggest thing that has happened to human mankind humans are so happy working with them in the warehouse now you might be surprised that how come humans are happy working with the robots because usually it has always been heard that robots are going to take away the jobs or they are the reason of unemployment but as of now when we are speaking there are 52 million opportunities waiting for you in the arena of artificial intelligence itself so why these human beings are happy working in the warehouse is because a warehouse involves laborious jobs or even certain times potentially dangerous situations so these robots are doing each and everything on their behalf the warehouse staff is comfortably sitting in their chairs pressing the buttons on their touch screens and these robots are even lifting the entire aisle for them bringing the inventory to them and when they take out certain things these robots are even capable of taking note of the inventory that how much inventory they have taken out how much is left in the aisle how much more they need to order so this is not man against robots saga rather it is man with machine synergy that is how beautifully this world is shaping up now while playing your game suddenly got a call from the office you are required in the office saturday afternoon what you kidding me saturday afternoon me in the office no you are not coming so now what do we need for that we need your maybe identical twin now how are we gonna find your identical twin to connect meeting on your behalf holographic clone yes you heard it right your holographic clone can be projected anywhere in any part of the world and your holographic clone is so intelligent that it can speak any language it can deliver a keynote on your behalf or it can even conduct entire meeting on your behalf so it is your identical looking twin and the best part is multiple holographic clones can be projected at the same time so you keep playing your golf and the same time you are present in the multiple parts of the world so while discussing all this wonderful technologies retina scan eyeball movement body reflexes you are uh, being pro at the golf e-mobility robots how to do shopping online and the logistics chains being taken care by the robotics as well as your holographic clone what is our most important requirement that is food food comes from agriculture that is where the artificial intelligence robotics and innovation is required as of now we are 8 billion people on earth 
as per UN report, by 2050, we are going to be almost 10 billion human beings. So population is going to increase by 25%. But do you know how much more food is required for that? We need at least extra 60% food. Yes, extra 60% food. And earth is of the same size. We cannot increase the size of the earth. So what we need to do? We need to have more produce on the same size of the earth. How we can do that? By using robotics and AI techniques. We are in the era of 5G farming or more precisely called as agroecology, where the entire farms are equipped with 5G technology, artificial intelligence, robotics, soil sensors, humidity sensors, autonomous irrigation, laser levelers, automated weather reports, taking care of weather analysis, crop health, and drones mapping the entire field, equipped with the satellites, radars, GPS, giving the entire information on your iPad. Wow, wonderful. So when we're talking about agriculture, this is the need of the hour. And what is happening in the agriculture is that now new kind of nursery seedlings are coming, whereby seeds are grown already outside the farm and they can plant it in the farm. Till now, how the agriculture has been done. Farmers have been using tractors traditionally they ride the tractors just without even knowing the terrain, without even knowing the soil health, without even knowing how much of the moisture is there in the soil or how much nutrients are there. Now they are autonomous tractors. They can just plow the entire field. And then these autonomous tractors equipped with off the shelf technologies like laser levelers that can level the entire field to the possible nearest millimeters as well as equipped with soil sensors, they can let you know what kind of nutrients are already there in the soil and how much moisture is in the soil. And now these reports, along with communicated through the cybernetic networks to the irrigation sensors, irrigation sensors connected to the weather sensors, weather, weather sensors uh, analyzing the weather, predicting how much rain is expected. And accordingly, autonomous irrigation using less water irrigating the crops as well as the best part is maintaining optimal water level at the root of the crop to provide the best health to the crop. And the technologies have gone so advanced that even if there is a wastage of water that could be redirected to other plants. From here on, when these autonomous tractors are even equipped with computer vision, these, this computer vision can recognize the weeds. And if there is a weed is found there, that particular weed is targeted by just a drop of herbicide to kill it or even the latest robots, they can even kill it with the laser. So these see and spray laser robots or even a, a one drop targeting herbicide robots are reducing the use of herbicides by 80% and they are bringing together the expenditure of all the agrochemicals by 90%. So we are getting much more food, much better food, more organic food. The entire farm is being mapped by drones, 3D mapping, hyperspatial algorithms. That is letting you know the entire farm size when your crop is being ready for harvesting and then automated harvesters. Imagine there was this 11,000 hectares of land full of strawberry and there was labor shortage. So this company, they made a strawberry harvest harvester and this strawberry harvest harvested the entire strawberry. And the beauty about this is that along with harvesting, this harvester even packed it into the boxes and labeled it ready to ship to the market. And same way, there is a tomato harvester. Traditionally, how we harvest tomatoes, human being, they're taking down the tomatoes and they are even taking down red, green, yellow, unripened tomatoes as well and certain times even ungrown tomato buds but now this tomato harvester it is it can recognize the colors of the tomatoes through the computer vision it is taking care that they are red tomatoes green tomatoes yellow tomatoes orange tomatoes it is only plucking the red ripened tomatoes and rest of the even ungrown tomato buds it is letting them grow there is this university they made the same tractor and 
इट इज कैपेबल ऑफ मूविंग इन एनी काइंड ऑफ सॉइल एनी काइंड ऑफ मडी वाटर्स इक्विप्ड विद सॉइल सेंसर्स इक्विप्ड विद ह्यूमिडिटी सेंसर्स एंड इक्विप्ड विद सी एंड सॉस प्रेयर्स एज वेल एज इट इज रिड्यूसिंग द यूज ऑफ फर्टिलाइजर्स टू द बेयर मिनिमम वेयर बाई सॉइल हेल्थ इज कमिंग अप ऑल दिस टेक्नोलॉजीज पुट टूगेदर इज गिविंग द एंटायर इंफॉर्मेशन ऑन योर पैड वेयर बाय यू आर रेडी टू सेल योर प्रोड्यूस टू द मार्केट देर इज द स्टार्टअप they have done started doing another in house farming yes they are doing vertical farming in house in the plastic trays in controlled environment in led lights and what they are doing is the why they are doing it in the plastic trays they are delivering these plastic trays directly to the end user they are growing red paprika jalapenos mushrooms tomatoes and they are taking those trays and delivering it directly to the hotels cafes restaurants and what these hotels are doing when they receive the order then they are plucking the fresh produce so you are getting the food on the table with the fresh produce itself and the beauty about this uh, in house farming is that it is using 1/10 of an area and giving you produce equal to 1 hectare so this is this is the way we can increase the yield in the agriculture this way more of the opportunities can be generated in the field of agriculture in the agriculture where most of the indian population are employed in the field of agriculture and they are dependent on agriculture so where we are getting towards are we growing are we increasing the production by 2030 india is going to be the problem solving machine for the entire world bringing these technologies to the grassroots level india is empowering its people and making these technologies reach to the remotest of the areas making technology possible for everyone everyone growing nurturing together